Hi, my name is Zach, and uh, this is my few minutes worth of contribution to the Mind Writing uh, page. Um, uh, I wanted to share with you some of the things that uh, I have done, uh, my wife and I both do here as of recently, to uh, uh, keep our minds right and uh, to keep things in proper perspective. Uh, to stay on a certain trajectory of sanity um, so that we, uh, we do ourselves and others a great service. Uh, because that's what we do here in our community is service others uh, when we have that opportunity. Um, here as of lately, we've uh, we've ventured up to, uh, we have been venturing up to the north shores of the island of Oahu. For, we are stationed here in Hawaii, have been for the last three and a half years. Um, something we haven't really taken advantage of the first couple of years or so while we were here, but uh, uh, we have here recently. And... Uh, so uh, what we do is uh, we just basically go on a uh, about a two mile walk along the shorelines of Oahu and it gives us ample time to really reflect upon who we are. It gives us a mindful based approach, meditation as some would say, um, to really just kind of uh, reflect upon our personal being, uh, our attitudes and our approaches uh, to others uh, in our community and not just uh, outside the home but also inside the home. Um, for uh, you know, if you uh, if you're not able to treat uh, people inside your home the way they should be treated, uh, what's to make you think that you could treat others outside the home uh, any different? Uh, at least that's my thought process. Um, I don't mean to proselytize in any capacity, and I, I'm not a I'm not a pastor or minister of any sort. But uh, in in the book of Psalms, David often talked about uh, when he would um, uh, detach himself from his community and his job, his uh, his life, if you will, and uh, he would go bask in the uh, uh, in nature, um, whether it be uh, you know in the mountains or uh, by the shores uh, or in just green pastures. Uh, he would use that to his advantage and really just kind of as a as an opportunity to reflect upon uh, his uh, his own being. And so that's what we do here, and that's what my wife and I have been doing here recently. Uh, I have assumed a very stressful position here on the island of Oahu. Uh, in the military, 20 plus years of service, uh, and it's finally taken its toll on me uh, mentally and uh, emotionally and uh, physically. Uh, for all three are intertwined, uh, what, so what affects one affects the other two and vice versa. Um, so last year I had surgery on my foot, uh, ruptured my plantar uh, fascia ligament, and uh, from there things started to go downhill. So I needed to find something to put myself back on, uh, back on track or recovery, if you will, and... Um, so that's one of the, the, the few things that I've done. And uh, again, it allows me the ample time. And it really just, it gives you a soothing sense and allows you to just kind of just bask in, uh, you know, uh, the presence of peace, really. And uh, it's so comforting and it's, uh, it's reassuring. And I guess what? This world, this reality that you come out of, that you detach yourself away from um, uh, temporarily, you'll come back to it, but you come back to it energized and revitalized. Uh, so do yourself and your family a favor, as well as others in your community who you uh, commune with on a, on a regular basis. And take that time to reflect upon yourself. And uh, you owe it to yourself. You